Hey guys, welcome back. It's been so freaking long. Oh my God. It's well over a month. Uh, I honestly just been enjoying my summer, enjoying life. And I feel like I see this every fall, but football is coming back and you guys are going to be seeing me hopefully more. But today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and just chit chatting, catching up, all sorts of things. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I just really like doing these types of videos, but I think the last time I did one was like two years ago. I don't know. And I should do more of these. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like sometimes either you like makeup or you watch me for something else. You watch me for weight loss. I don't know if there's people that literally like every single video. I apologize if I have done so many Built Bar reviews back to back, but they were just having so many launches and they're such quick videos to film and I like doing reviews and I'm a Built Bar ambassador and I like talking about Built Bars. Like it's a product that I have loved years before I became an ambassador and I just love them. So I apologize. I'm not like just a Built Bar channel. Please don't think that. Um, but yeah, I just want to get ready with you guys. I have rearranged my office, beauty room, filming room. I don't even know my girl cave. I have pretty much redid my whole room. So I will do a tour eventually. I'm still looking for a full length mirror guys. If you guys know a good full length mirror, I thought I found one. And then my husband was like, it's way too short. I want one that's tall and wide. Um, and I really want to do fashion like outfit videos for you guys, because it's just kind of like what I've been really enjoying is like clothes and outfits and I was recently went on vacation and I think I had like three different outfits for every single day for the three days. Like, I don't know. I just been really enjoying it. And honestly, I am home all the time. So if I do go away, it's many outfits because I got to get use of these cute clothes that I buy. So anyway, let's get started and I will chit chat as I get ready. I haven't even unpacked my bag from when I went away to the beach. Just got back the other day. Went to Rehoboth Beach. I love it there. Ugh, I want a house there. I don't need anything that bougie. I Even if it's just like a studio, <laughs> I really just want a beach house that I can literally walk to Rehoboth Beach. <sighs> I found a place that was like in the Bay Area in Delaware and it was like maybe, I don't even know, like a five, ten minutes from the beach or something from Rehoboth Beach and... Man, that thing sold so fast and it's such a shame. Like, anyway, it is what it is. I put on my Origins Matte Moisturizer, which is my favorite. I'll pop up a picture. I absolutely love it. I no longer use primers at all anymore because... I, they just, I haven't found one that I love and the Matte Moisturizer works really well. I also love the Clinique dr Dramatically Different Gel in the yellow. That I love for under makeup. So like basically the Origins in that Clinique one, it's so good under makeup. You don't need a primer. Um, today I'm going to be using the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I just started using this again. I was obsessed. Where is it at? I was obsessed with, the, oh here it is. The L'Oreal True Match Nude. I don't know if you can see there. More than halfway done. I love this. I use the 0 0.5 to two very light. I have a bunch of backups because I got a really good deal on Amazon and I bought the pumps to go along with it. Anything that I mentioned that I, I purchased on Amazon, I will have it in my Amazon storefront. I appreciate if you do purchase because again, it, it, it really does help me out. Um, but yeah, I love the pump to go with it. I don't like the dropper. It's so messy. Um, and when I travel, I travel with something that's not glass. But if I travel by car, I don't really mind. But I was just using this because it's more like lightweight. And then I have my mirror right here as well. So if you see me looking over there. What's going on here? But yeah, so I just went to the beach. Went to Rehoboth Beach uh, for three days. And it was magnificent. And for being right before the holiday weekend, it wasn't that busy at all. But you can definitely tell Friday as we were like leaving, the traffic coming in was insane. So I honestly feel like going to the beach that the week of, not the weekend, 
it was really, really nice and totally would do it again. But it was just crazy that it wasn't like that busy. Um, like even in the town, restaurants and that sort of thing. And Thursday, the weather was really great. We were on the beach until four o'clock from morning to four, like all day. And then Thursday, it was the only like beach day we went on the beach because then Thursday and Friday it was really windy. And it's if it's windy in town, it's going to be super windy on the actual beach. So I don't know why I was having trouble pumping this because I know it's not empty. But, but yeah, as you can tell, I got some sunburn. I wasn't smart for whatever reason. I don't know what happened. My knees got so burnt. So my bathing suit at the beach is bike sh like bike shorts bathing suits that I got ban oh my god bathing suit that I got at toured back in 2021 I'm not wearing a regular bathing suit I don't like my thighs I have extra skin from losing 100 pounds and I want to be comfortable I know people are like oh embrace your body it's the beach who cares but I want to be comfortable and if I'm not comfortable I'm going to be miserable so anyway I use bike shorts and I feel so comfortable confident and I'm not like hot or anything like that. Like I'm super comfortable. Plus I want to be protected from the sun anyway. And apparently this time around I wasn't. And then I wear like a, I don't know. The first time I went to the beach, it was kind of like a, not a, like a bikini top because it covered everything. And it, it was like this much skin you can see. And then I bought like this Volcom like surf top. And then for this year I bought a Roxy like short sleeve surf top because I just want to protect myself from the sun. I got two uh, moles removed on my back that my luckily, thank God, came back a-okay. But my doctor was like those types of moles. I forgot the name and I need to ask him what the name was. But he basically said like it, it will turn into cancer. So I got those removed. And I'll tell you what, man, thank God for insurance. Cause like when I saw the bill from, if you didn't have insurance, it would have been like $400 and I paid 35, like so insanely this, I don't know. Like the more I go to the doctor and more I see like the bill, like if you didn't have insurance, it's like, what in the world? Like, it's so sad. Like people can't take care of themselves because it's so expensive to take care of yourself, you know? But thank God everything came back okay. And honestly, I've been like worried about those moles on my back for many, many, many years. And I'm just so happy that I'm like, okay, I just need to face the fact. Like if there is something wrong, like let's catch it early, right? Instead of uh, putting it off. So, but anyway, so that's why I bought this Roxy Surf shirt. Got that off of Amazon too. And it's so comfortable. I'm, I would think like you're hot, but we get an umbrella at the beach. We're hoping you can rent the umbrella and they put it in the sand for you and everything. And we don't have to worry about it. So that's what we do. Um, and yeah, and I just stay in the shade, but don't ask me what happened this time around. Cause I really don't know. I'm not there to get a tan. I'm not, I don't even go in the water. Did you guys see that video with the shark? Oh, with that poor boy in Egypt. I watched that at nighttime. Don't ask me why. This was like a while back. And I like literally was afraid to get out of my bed in the middle of the night because I'm thinking the shark is like gonna like come and get me from underneath the bed because I was so, I just couldn't even believe what I was watching. I can't even believe there's a video on that. I can't believe I watched it, but I heard someone talking about it and I was like, what? Like that's on the internet? Well, there's a lot of things on the internet <laughs> these days. But yeah, I was just like, so I ain't going in the water anymore. Um, I'm good. But yeah, so the beach was just so nice, so relaxing. I love eating at Dogfish Head. It's my favorite. We've gone to the actual like brewery, but the restaurant is amazing. And then for the first time, we actually went to, uh, is it like Dogfish on Main? And the food was so good. I got the crab mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. And we got the crab dip. George got crab cakes. I mean, everything was great. The drinks were great. The drink that I got was so strong. And let me tell you something. I probably in the past wouldn't have like cared, but because of like my panic attacks and everything, um, that feeling of being like tipsy makes me feel like I'm having a panic attack. So I, I'm really sensitive to that feeling. Usually I don't drink because I am on medication for my panic disorder. Um, I didn't realize how, I think I drank I didn't even drink half of that drink. George, I told George to drink it, but he doesn't like coconut. 
but he was like, oh my God, that's so strong. So I didn't even finish it, but it was really, really, really good. I wish I could have finished it. I wish I could have like taken it to go, <laughs> but I was like, I'm going to have to be able to walk out of here. This is not going to work. And I use too much concealer. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't do my makeup as much as I used to. So I'm not like, I feel like a pro at it anymore. And I'm not as like fast as I feel like I used to be, but so anyway, the beach was fantastic. Before that, I was at my mom's for a little over a week in North Carolina, which was amazing. I love going to my mom's. It's so much fun. The one day we literally shopped till we dropped. I think we went to like a billion stores and then we went home and fell asleep. <laughs> oh, it was so much fun. The one day we went and got pedicures and manicures. My mom got her very first manicure. So that was really nice to see her get pampered and be really, really relaxed. So it's like, you know what, we need to do this more often. But obviously because of like COVID and stuff, we wouldn't like go do things like that. But I feel like now things are on the ups, you know, because she does take care of her mom, my grandma, who just turned 93, by the way, which is like insane. And then we were there for the AEW pay-per-view. Do you guys watch AEW wrestling? Please tell me if you do. And if you don't, you should, because it is so, so good. It's so much better than WWE. Like, I'm sorry. It just really is. I love it. I love the character so much more. Like, I just love everything. And the best news that came out of yesterday, because today is Sunday, the best news is that CM Punk is fired. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm sorry. I was never really, I was never, okay. Punk was, I was never like a fan of his, but it wasn't like I hated him or loved him or liked him. Like it was just like, meh, he's there type of thing. So it's like, whatever. But I am the elite. So I'm, I'm all about the elite. Okay. The young bucks, Kenny, hangman, you know. So anyway, um, I am really happy because and this is what I'm going to say. Last year, when I was going through my panic attacks, the only things that I could watch without having a pan panic attack or having it, like, soothe me was watching AEW Wrestling and listening to Taylor Swift. Other music would set me off. Other shows. I couldn't even watch Friends, which I loved Friends. Couldn't even really watch The Office either. Um... But for whatever reason, AEW, like, I would watch so much wrestling stuff on, like, YouTube and, like, rewatch the MJF promos. So when everything went down with the Unbucks and Punk, I was like, oh, my God. Like, they don't know what they're doing to me. Like, I could, like, and then that stress of the Unbucks and Kenny not wrestling, like, was causing me stress, which stress would send me into a panic attack. So I was like, no. So for me, I'm more, like bitter and feel a certain way because how much um wrestling really really helped me with my recovery and getting better so that's my story but you know what it is what it is you know I understand we don't always get along with people that you work with trust me I really feel like I got along with many people that I worked with but um you know it is what it is but it's like you know I don't know you're, you're a performer, you gotta go out and go do your job, and I just, like, feel bad for all the wrestlers and for, like, the storylines that were supposed to happen. Like, I couldn't wait for the storyline to be back with MJF and CM Punk and to verse for the, you know, belt and all that stuff because he had his little X belt, which I can't, couldn't stand that. But anyway, if you don't watch wrestling, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So... Uh, what else? So yeah, I was there for the pay-per-view, which was great. Uh, my grandma's been a wrestling fan since forever. And that's the reason why my mom watched wrestling. I watched wrestling for so many years. And then when I met George and somehow it came up about WWE and I was like, do you watch wrestling? My grandma watches wrestling. And anytime I would ever tell anyone that my grandma watches wrestling, they're like, yeah, okay, whatever. But you talk to my grandma about wrestling she knows everything she will sit there and reminisce about storylines that happened like before I was born I feel like like things that I definitely don't remember the past storyline that she started talking about was about Stephanie Stephanie McMahon and Triple H getting married and how she, she was drunk or I don't know he drugged her or whatever <laughs> so and then one of her recent favorite storylines that she brings up not that it's that recent is about MJF mom sleeping around or whatever this is like from ancient history but she always brings it up and uh yeah and she really misses Wardlow <laughs> she loves Wardlow <laughs> but um yeah so anyway 
she doesn't like MJF. She's the type of, uh, definitely the fan that, you know, you hate who you're supposed to hate, the villain and the heel. But uh, she's really funny and she loves Jungle Boy, even though now that he's healed, but I don't think she realizes it. She's 93. She forgets a lot of things. and But wrestling, she does not forget about. And she does not like Jericho. <laughs> so anyway, um, so anyway, North Carolina was great. So hot. Love seeing my mom's dog, Leo, who is my little fur baby, too. Love him to death. And I miss him so much. Um, and then let me see. I don't know. I just been like staying super busy and yeah, working out hopefully more often. Um, I feel like I've been slacking on that sometimes. And honestly, half the time I just forget to post that I worked out and I'm like, oh, if I didn't post a picture, it's like it didn't happen. You know what I mean? So I need to get better at posting more like about my food and working out. Plus that keeps me uh, accountable and everything like that. So uh, I'm trying to think of what else has been going on. Um, I'm sure I mentioned we have Hershey Park season tickets for this summer and loving it. We're actually going um, to the water park tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. We haven't actually gone at all to the water park because we've just been so crazy with going on the rides and Wildcats Revenge, which is new for this year. It's a hybrid coaster. Um, it's basically like an homage to their, um, wildcat wooden coaster. And so basically they keep some of the f existing frame, like when they design it. Um, but a lot of it is new and it's wooden base, but it's steel track. And the coaster is almost like a wooden coaster. You go up the, the lift hill, like it's a wooden coaster. So it's really a neat thing. And they've done many coasters like this and they're really redoing a lot of things. Wildcat was so bad. The last time I rode that was last year. Um, and it, it was like you went to the chiropractor, like it was really bad. And it definitely was not like that, like back in the day. Um, but yeah, I loved Wildcat, like when it was running really well. So, um, I'm trying to think of what else has been going on. I'm not sure, honestly. I've been shopping a lot, it feels like. Although the month of August, I was on, was it August? No, July, July, I did a strict no buy. I didn't buy anything in the month of July, which was like insane. But then like August came around and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a no buy for September because my birthday's in October and I don't wanna want a lot of things. But um, yeah, no, we did a lot of shopping in Rehoboth and then on the way home, we stopped at some shops and this lady almost hit us in the parking lot and we're like blowing the horn, blowing the horn. And it's like, she, it was an old lady. She didn't even hear. She had no idea what was going on. And I'm not even kidding. We like didn't get hit by a sliver and she had a newer car. So like, don't, don't they all like have like the beep, 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 beep. You know, if you're going to hit something, but I don't think she could hear. And therefore I don't think she should uh, probably be driving, but that like kind of like ruined the mood. <laughs> Uh, for a while, but thank God like we're all safe and that's the most important thing but uh Yeah, I'm gonna use this Jacqueline Hill highlighter. I used this at the beach and I really loved it It's so like bright because I feel like I've just been using you know dimmer like highlighters and I'm kind of like in the high lady mood actually let me put on my hourglass I'm trying to use up a lot of makeup I feel like I've been not buying a lot. I really want to get the Natasha Denona palette, but I'm going to use my points and I'm kind of like waiting for like a day where it's like a good like gift with purchase and everything like that. Um, so. But yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a Hello Kitty haul today. I'm going to do a fall, probably part one haul because I've gotten like shoes and clothes and stuff. Um, that I would like to share and I don't think I'm going to be trying anything on, but I'm going to share them with you. Um, I got some stuff at Sam's Club, which I don't know. I never knew I would be shopping for clothes at Sam's Club, but I've gotten so many good things at Sam's Club and the prices can't be beat. I mean, honestly, I love Sam's Club. I don't like we've had a membership at Costco pre COVID and it was always so packed. It's so annoying in there. The lines are insane. 
But Sam's Club, you can scan and go. It's like, oh my God, I just want to tell everybody in the store, like, why are you waiting in line? You can scan and go. And then, then they have like self-checkout. So you have to put the stuff in the car, then take it out, then put it back in the car. Then you got to wait in line for them to scan your stuff, you know, at the door. But if you just do scan and go, you're putting it in your cart once and scanning it and you're done, you know? So I don't know why people aren't doing scan and go. Now, I know like if you buy a TV and like certain things, like you have to, you can't do scan and go. But if you're just buying regular stuff, do scan and go. Get that um, on your phone and scan it as you go. I only see like not even a handful of people doing scan and go when I go to the same. Sometimes I don't see anybody else doing scan and go. And then it's great because then you just wheel on through and you are out of line. Like you don't have to wait in the line. And I feel like people are like, wait, what are they doing? You know, it's like perfect. It's perfect. Also, I got this product and I'm going to return it because Ulta has one. It's on sale today for $8. But it's the Mad Love. Now, when I first got this in the mail, I tried it right away because I wanted to see about the color. I bought it on Amazon because I love buying things on Amazon because you can return it if it sucks. And it's easy returns. I don't have to go in store and like answer 50 questions of why I'm returning something and then have them try to sell me something else. The first time I did it with the stencil, it was phenomenal. I was like, oh my God, it's so great. But then when I was away at the beach and tried to use this, it took me like an extra like 20 minutes because I messed it up. It, like, I don't even know what. It's like every time I try to do, when I do something for the very first time, I excel at it. And then after that, I stink at it. So I'm going to try it again today. Let's hope. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. But what's great about it is it does wipe off really easily with like a tissue. So at least that's like the good thing all right da, 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 da. oh yeah i brought this to the beach the iconic illuminator because i thought i was wearing oh my god for the first time i wore a short dress not that it was short short but it was like above the knee and i don't like showing my knees i think for some reason knees are just not attractive and i don't like mine <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing george is like now you have normal knees i'm like i don't know i don't like them but I was with those when I like put a little bit of this like on my legs, like mixed in with like a lotion and I just didn't or like my like collarbones. I, I was like, whatever. I just want to get to dinner. Okay. I want that crab mac and cheese and have a day. But all right. So I don't know. I don't think I'm going to try this today because maybe I will. I mean, I might try it off camera because it just might take too long. Now let me do my eyes. I want to do my Natasha Denona palette because I'm like really in the mood for like a dramatic eye today because I feel like I never do. I love this, but I really want to get the new one. That one looks so pretty, but I'm going to use my points. And again, like I said, just wait until like there's a decent deal. Is that a permanent palette or is it limited edition? Because I really don't know. And I went into Ulta while I was in North Carolina and they had a whole display of Natasha Denona, but they didn't have the new palette. And usually online it says like in store date and an online date and there's no in store date and the lady's like oh we should have it soon and i was like yeah probably not <laughs> probably not i don't even use eyeshadow primer either i don't know i just i just feel like they really just try to get gimmick us buying so many different things and it's i don't think we need all this stuff Honestly, all these layers and layers and layers. But, yeah. I'm just trying to think what else. I feel like I had so many things to tell you guys. And now I can't even, like, remember. But, yeah. So, I spent most of my summer at Hershey Park. I'm so excited for the fall time. Because I never went in the fall. And I love Christmas in Hershey. And the reason why we did the season passes because we love Christmas in Hershey and it's so expensive now. Like when we first started going back in 2006, which was our first time in Christmas in Hershey, it was I think like $9.95 and then it went to like $12.95 the next year. Now it's 50 plus. And that's insane. Like insane for, I mean, great at now, like more things are open. They have Candy Monium, which is one of their bigger roller coasters and that's open. Um, but before not a lot of rides were open and, but it's, even if you don't go on rides, it's so nice because everything's lit up and they have like, um, the light show even on the inside. I don't know. It's just so cozy and just really nice even just to walk around. But now more things are open, more rides are open and all that. But 
um, which I'm interested to know if Wildcat is going to be open. I'm assuming they obviously probably built it to be able to run it in the cold, um, like Candymonium. But yeah, I don't know. I just it's just expensive. So, and then we figured, well, even if we go one time in the summer or even twice in the summer, and then you also get obviously the water parks included with the admission, it's all in the same park. So even if you just go for one day, you get the water park and you know, the rides, but then you also get the zoo as well. And we already went to the zoo two times, so it's totally worth it. Um, and if you do get the admission, even for one day, you get the zoo as well. You can go, there's an entrance, you get stamped and you can go in the zoo and then come back. But it's a lot. If you're waiting in long lines and if you don't do the fast pass, um, you know, it's a long day. So it's like, it's totally worth it to do the season pass. You get uh, discounts on food, you get free stuff. Like there's so many perks. And then they had like contests and stuff. So if you went so many times, you earned points and all that. And so we earned a whole day with a fast pass. And that was awesome. And I will have to say, like, if you're only going to do one day, maybe upgrade to the fast pass because it was fantastic. I was like, wow, this, I didn't think it would be that worth it. Every time I would see people, I'm like, eh, is it that worth it? But it is worth it. Even for someone with the season pass, I thought, wow, like, even though I've been on these rides a million times, but it's so worth it, especially in the summer when it's hot. So if you have kids, I would definitely at least upgrade them to a fast pass because I thought it was absolutely amazing. But yeah, I love Hershey. I've loved Hershey forever. Like even when I was a kid, there were so many school trips that we would go to Hershey for Science Day and everything like that. So love, love, love. So I highly recommend it. Another amusement park that I really like is Knobles. That's fantastic. I haven't been there a million years, but it's free admission. So if you're, you know, a parent who doesn't go on rides and that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just love rides. I love roller coasters. I love amusement parks. They're just so much fun. I think I just love the, I just love the feeling that I get on rides. Like you just get this euphoria and just, I just love it. So it's like, why not go on rides? You know, I don't know. It's just exciting. Now, granted, I don't like drop tower rides, even though I've been on all the Hershey Kiss, what is it, then the Reese Cup, and then the chocolate bar towers at Hershey. Didn't like any of them. George made me go on that, <laughs> and I was scared. But they're not as tall as the one at Cedar Point that me and my little sister went on, and her and I were so scared. Um, and that was the only drop ride I was ever on and I was like, why are we doing this? Why are we, we were so petrified coming down. Oh my God. I was so scared. I couldn't wait to get off. But the ones at Hershey Park, they're smaller. I think they're good for like younger kids or people who are scared. Um, especially like the little Hershey Kiss one. It's not bad at all, but I just don't, I don't like that feeling. I don't know. But also I just had a bad experience. So that could be that too. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I absolutely, I love this palette. It's just such a, such, like, it just, I don't know, I can't even speak. It's such a great palette. But yeah, I just never do my makeup anymore. All right, what else? Okay, I've been hunting around for Hello Kitty stuff. So if you are a Hello Kitty fan, I, you're gonna like my haul. And I was in... Home goods with my mom, but she went down a different aisle and I was hunting around for Hello Kitty and I found the Hello Kitty cappuccino cups. Well, clearly there was another Hello Kitty hunter. There was actually a few in this store. Like it was crazy. The one girl was like decked out in Hello Kitty while she was hunting around and I was like, oh my God. So, but I found the cappuccino cups and I, you know, I took them and walked off and I'm looking at the end cap right near there. And this girl, I guess was with her friend, boyfriend, husband, I don't know. And was like, oh, she took them. She took them. Uh, and she's like wailing her arms up. And I'm like, okay, should I like be scared or something? And then her friend, guy friend, whatever, was like, oh, ask for them back. And I was like, what? I'm like, for one, like home goods, like you have the aisle here, but then there's all the stuff in the middle. And I'm like, okay, you're on the other side of the stuff in the middle. And I'm all over here looking at the cups and you're looking at the other stuff. And it's like, you were nowhere near. It's not like we were standing next to each other or something. And I don't know. But I was like, have them back. Like, what? 
like it was like and she's like ah she took them i like got scared for my life <laughs> i'm just kidding but it was just like really really funny because i probably would have done the same thing and i've never seen these little cappuccino cups um but yeah i just i was like oh my god i like found my mom and i was like telling her when we left and she's like what and, she, and i was like yeah i don't know she was nowhere near the cup so i don't like i could see if we like showed up at the same time put our hands on it at the same time but but then there ended up being another one so i don't i don't know maybe she just didn't see it but i was like uh <laughs> it's kind of awkward but i never ran into other hello kitty hunters but then yesterday i went to marshall's tj maxx and found some stuff that i haven't been able to find but at home goods i wish i could find the hello kitty halloween towels so Maybe I will end up finding those, but I haven't been able to find them. So I'm kind of giving up on them. I found the other towels, but they're expensive. It's like two towels for $12.99. I'm just like, why is it so expensive? But. I don't know. I don't know. It's like when I first saw all this Halloween stuff, I was like, I don't need it. And then I'm like, I need it. But. Anyway, I'm just excited for Christmas because if they're already having this much stuff for like fall and Halloween, what are they going to have for Hello Kitty stuff for Christmas? So, anyways, I think I'm going to end you guys here because I don't really have anything else to talk about. And I feel like I'm boring you guys. But this has been like super soothing, but I'm just going to finish up my makeup and then start filming some other videos so definitely check those out this will obviously be up first and then when they're up I'll put them in the cards and link them below for you guys and wow this video is so long but it's so nice now because I can put my tripod behind my desk and now I'm like up against the wall versus before you could see like more stuff in the background I do want to get like maybe a backdrop I was thinking maybe like some lights or something I don't know we'll see you guys let me know if you guys just like a plane I don't know I mean I don't like a lot of stuff in the background. Like I never really liked how I would film before. That's why I would have filmed sitting on the floor with the wall behind me because I just don't like seeing old stuff. I feel like it's just really like, just a lot of distraction, but I'm thinking of maybe doing something with the back. But for now, this is what we're gonna have. So thank you guys so much for watching. 